Miss Philippines. Hello, I am Rosemary Singson Rosas from Manila, Philippines. Muchas gracias. Miss Philippines, Rosemary Singson Rosas. Miss Philippines. <laughs> And with the announcement of the next name, we... Miss Philippines. This is Rosemary Brosas. She's from uh, Makati. She's 18 and she's a student. And uh, did you see our pageant in the Philippines last year? Yes. I was one of the usherettes for the Miss Universe at 1974. What ran through your mind when you watched the girls on our stage last year? Well, I was thinking I dreamt of being in the contest but I never expected of being here. And this dream has come true for you. Yes. Yes, it has. Thank you, Miss Philippines. Miss El Salvador. <laughs> Miss Philippines. Number four, Miss Philippines. Here are four of our finalists. One last girl to join them. She is Miss... Thank you, Miss Haiti. Thank you, sir. Would you step back? Miss Philippines. I have four questions remaining. Would you choose one of them? Now... Your question is, if you become Miss Universe of 1975, what one individual other than your parents would have made the greatest contribution to your success, and why? Well, I think uh, it would be the judges, because they were the ones who uh, voted for me if I won Miss Universe. Very good. Thank you, Miss Philippines. Would you step back, please? And Miss Sweden, would you step out here? I have three questions. Thank you, Miss Hospitalities. Now, I am going to step right down here. And do you have the list for me, please, Mr. Gilbert? Here it is. I've just been handed the judge's final list of four runners-up and the new Miss Universe. And that means that an almost impossible dream is about to come true for one of these five beautiful young ladies. She'll be crowned by Miss Universe of 1972, Carrie Ann Wells, and it'll all happen in just a few moments. I'm going to begin with the fourth runner-up. Now, the fourth runner-up for the title of Miss Universe is Miss Philippines. Congratulations. The third... 